What is Muharram and Ashura? Muharram is the first month of the Islamic lunar calendar. In the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, the number of months according to the Book of Allah are 12, since Allah created the heavens and the earth. From them, four are known to be sacred months. They are known as Arba'atul Hurum or Ashurul Hurum, the months of sanctity and sacredness. From the four sacred months, Muharram is one of them. And as you can see from the name Muharram, it has the same root letter as the word Haram. Haram is known as Haram because in doing Haram, you violate the sanctity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So likewise, this month Muharram and the other sacred months, sins are graver in those months than other months. Therefore, Allah says, do not wrong yourselves in those months. Do not cause injustice towards yourselves in those months. What is the significance of the month of Muharram? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the best of fasts according to Allah after the month of Ramadan are during Allah's month Al-Muharram. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam calls the month of Muharram the month of Allah, which increases his veneration and its respect. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that fasting in this month is superior to other months, which means that it's encouraged throughout the month. However, we know that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not fast any month more than he did the month of Ramadan. He didn't fast the entire month in any other month. Therefore, we look at the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we look at the sunnah, we see that fasting in Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, which is known as Ashura, was something Muslims practiced even before Ramadan was prescribed. And when Ramadan was prescribed, the fasting of Ashura was downgraded from mandatory status to optional status. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he migrated to the city of Medina, witnessed the Jewish community fasting on this particular day. When he inquired why the Jews were fasting on that day, they said it was because Nabi, sallallahu, Nabi Musa alayhi sallam, and Bani Israel were freed from the shackles and the clutches of Fir'aun on that day. So as a mark of shukr and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they observed fasting on that day. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, responded by saying, I am more eligible and rightful to observe this fast because Musa is my brother. Because of course, all prophets are brethren in faith. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'in and the Muslims to fast on that day. However, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in order for our worship to differentiate from the worship of the people of the book, we should add one day to it. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed away. Therefore the ulama recommend to fast on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah with the, uh, the 9th of Ash, uh, Muharram with the 10th or the 11th with the 10th. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, fasting on the day of Ashura, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sins of the previous year and the following year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the reward for this.